This is for uh, Jason Lee. I just want to let you know that I had a different electrician, not Alex P. Uh, there is a main panel that's out here. He basically took that main panel, all the wires from the main panel out. He just left one wire for a couple outlets here and one wire for a light. Everything else that's out here is now disengaged okay so that means you can just pull out electrical or just cut the wood the house is a truss house you can check with gus none of these walls are bearing that are underneath trusses but double check bob is going to check with gus but basically <clears throat> this is as you come in from the entry door that's in here i have 75 inches rough to rough framing to framing of wall that i'm going to have 48 inches that's going to be open which is going to be center of this new hallway from the framing to this rough is 80 and a half. We're gonna keep 27 inches here. This hallway is gonna get another wing wall on the other side that's also 27 inches, which is basically, this is a continuation of it. So 27 framing to framing, 27 framing to framing. All of this stuff is opening. So this is a 52 inch, this is a 52 inch opening going down the hallway, going down to all these other bathrooms. So basically this 48 inches should be centered to this new opening, 27, whatever the center is, that's the 48, you should be able to get these dimensions. So what you're this doing- is an existing hallway or it's gonna be- This crazy. hallway has bigger framing and closets in here. We're gonna just demo all that out. So basically you just needs to pick the right tools to demo all of it out. And then, um, cause there's all this two by four framing that's happening. And then basically, you're not gonna be able to do everything, but I'm gonna kind of explain to you what's happening. The bar is right here. So behind this hallway bar is a hall bathroom, which is gonna get a 32 inch bathtub. It's gonna get the toilet about 48 inches from rough to center. It's gonna get a cabinet. So anything in here, we're just cleaning up. This is just a bathtub. So we just don't have to do anything till the bathtub comes and we have backer. Then there is a, um, bathroom that goes into this whole washer and dryer room so basically as you come in through the hallway here of the kitchen going into the washer and dryer room there was a wall here that whole wall is going to come out we're actually going to expand it over here so from this framing to the new framing of the wall is going to be 208 and a quarter of an inch rough so basically this framing now is going to be in the way of this exterior door so that door is going to come out and going to get framed you're not going to frame this wall yet until um, we actually have all the drains set up. So we're probably going to go ahead and do the drains in-house ourselves. We're going to go ahead and possibly use a sub to just do the repipe in this house. Um, so that's what's happening there. So this is the laundry room, bathroom that's in the garage. That's the layout here. So Bob can meet you guys or take pictures of this so you guys understand what's happening. You're mostly doing mostly demo. Then there's a master bathroom. The master bathroom is right here in this master bathroom as you're coming in. Right now there's a bigger closet. That bigger closet goes away. You're gonna have a smaller closet so you have a bigger opening. This closet here remains as it is. And then inside of this bathroom is where the new framing is. So obviously you need to have at least 15 and three quarters from this framing to the center of the toilet. You need to be 15 and three quarter from the center of the toilet to any kind of framing. And then you can put your two by fours as a, uh, again, three inches, high, three and a half inches high. Uh, two by four pressure treated, half inch plywood, and then two by four on top of that, that will give you the three and a half high. Inside of this is determined by here. All of these drains are gonna end up being replaced. So all you're doing is just cleaning up demo and doing any kind of a basic framing for the three bathrooms and laundry area as per my plan, the kitchen. And then there is going to be uh, the kitchen sink that's being moved. Um, so, and then there's gonna be a multi-slide door here that we've already pre-ordered. We need to make sure where that is. This is something that we're gonna have to have Martin do. The patio door here, we're just replacing it. Um, all of these walls in the kitchen are being removed. The new walls will be here. The kitchen sink is being moved over. You got a window opening that's in here. So um, if Bob takes this folder, uh, Sal, with this video, you should be able to get started. You should be able to start doing some removal of framing. Um, but as far as laying it out, you have to lay it out again, center of here with Bob. And uh, so if, if Juan is involved in helping with the framing on this,
Make sure one brings his framing tools and any tools it is to remove framing. Um, and then just getting things out of the way and at least spending a good day and then making a whole whole new list. You want to highlight the walls that you want to be gone? Well, there's walls here that are being gone. That oh, They're okay. not even in this plan. There's walls here that are going to be gone. So what you need to do is just go in, take the master bathroom, and then remove whatever walls, keep the closet, and then look at the shape of this and make sure. So you need to so basically, basically study look each. at this design. Master, this on your way has mas to go. master bathroom. Okay, so this is the master bathroom. This is the after plan. Where does it say master? Mm -hmm. So this is the master bath. Then obviously you've got the kitchen and this hallway. So this is the hallway, which the continuation of this hallway is right here. So this is the hallway, as you can see. So this is hallway. And remember what I told you, this whole closet here goes away. So whatever framing is in the back of this bathroom, the double framing remains and 27 here, 27 there. Everything else goes away, okay? And then whatever that opening is, the center of it is the center of this opening. So I put 75, but I may be off a little bit. And then, so that's going to be our new layout. So this is the kitchen. And then this is the, obviously the laundry room and bathroom off the laundry room that's coming in here. I put the dimensions. So this is the laundry. And then there is the hall bathroom, which is getting a tub. And that one is in the back of this new, new hallway area that is existing in here had a 30 inch top and that's going to be a 32 inch top and then all the drains are going to end up being replaced we do need to put a change order for all that we need to walk chris maline in cutting uh frank says he'll help us lay out wherever that thing is so either frank or patrick can help us lay out how you're going to do it and then you're going to have to mark everything with uh with paint and then get chris to cut everything and then, then we need to do the work and i do need to tell the client how much it's going to be before we before we do that work okay so laundry room three bathrooms um kitchen and then the multi-slide door uh, that gus has the plans of and then some windows and a patio door that's being replaced and then all the interior doors by the way is going to be 86 inch rough opening uh, we're going to remove all of them they're going to be 86 inch rough opening so we're able to have um seven foot doors and just look at that as per my plan um and just remember this house has asbestos in it so anything suspicious do not touch um he already had the asbestos removed he may have some asbestos ducting that needs to be removed so don't touch that he says he has his own people that he wants to remove that with so uh, we don't have anything to do with that he already had uh, drywall removed so anything in the way that has drywall that needs to be removed just let him know and then he'll take care of that with his own people for that and that's pretty much it for jason lee in huntington beach bye